Yes. <laughs> Dr. Mindy in the house. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that. The carnivore diet. Because of the heat. Honestly, you've really touched my heart. But do you think on the topic of food that we're in a situation where it's a little bit like if you put a a frog in boiling water, it Mm. will jump out. But if you put a a frog in cold water and gradually raise the heat, it will die. I feel like that's what's happening to our food. Everything has changed about our food. Chemicals are in our food. Fats are different. And and but humans haven't figured it out. Do you feel like that's what's going on? Yeah, absolutely. I think that we have been... Um, like every organism, humans have an ability to adapt to their environment um, within reason, like every organism. It's always within reason, just like the frog can't immediately adapt to the boiling water. It would be lethal, of course, but within reason, the small, in this case, you know, the small degradations or the small degrees of change, we can adapt. I think what we've done within the last couple generations is something that is totally unique in the history of humans and human nutrition, which is now for the first time, we're getting very high fat and high carbohydrate foods Mm. that doesn't exist in nature really with one exception which is milk um where you know like you imagine mom mother mammal giving a perfect food to baby mammal and and milk happens to be high in all three macronutrients fat carbohydrate protein that means it's a perfect cocktail for growth but for those of us that are grown Mm. you don't get fat and protein, uh, fat and carbohydrate at high levels together. And I mentioned protein. What we've done is, of course, strip away the protein because protein is very satiating. So it doesn't make sense for a food manufacturer to want to keep the protein in there because that's bad for business because then someone doesn't want to eat as much. And protein is expensive. Yeah. And so if they can peel that protein off and do something else with it. Well, then that's just another way to make more money. So carbohydrate and fat in nature would never come at a high level without some protein. But that's what we've put ourselves in, where we're eating foods from bags and boxes with barcodes. And that essentially means we're getting high fat, high carb, low protein foods. And tragically, it's the worst kind of carbs, which is refined sugars and starches, and the worst kinds of fats, which are refined seed oils. This is a total departure from an ancestral way of eating that we've put ourselves in in very little time very, very briefly. It's because of what we eat. It's what we eat and how frequently we eat it. And then in the context of the current concerns with immune health, I can only speculate why lifestyle and overall and metabolic health continues to be overlooked. I can only assume there's just competing interests.